Okay, Leo. We are on to your Twin Flame read. Okay, part one. This is Twin Flame read, Collective Sign of Leo, part one. There will be an extended to this read. The link is in the description box down below. It will lead you to my Patreon page where it's $5 for just one tier, $5 a month. Um, you get access to all of the extendeds. So what else business-wise before we pray? Okay. Um, there's a lot of information about Twin Flame Connections. A lot of information about it. Um, some of it differing. But the wisdom is the same. The over... Is that how you say it? Overarching wisdom? The piece of wisdom that is shared by everyone involved is the same. That above and beyond everything else, when it comes to Twin Flame Connection, both sides are to choose themselves. The reason that you are to choose yourself and to love yourself and to choose to love yourself first is that it forces the other person in the energetic connection with you to choose themselves, to break the codependency, to break the um, cycles, to really um, heal old relationship patterns. That's what the purpose of choosing oneself is that it really brings about healing on both sides. So, and you can, I mean, you can look at it as an energetic connection with someone, or you can look at it as twin flame. Um, read, I just call it Twin Flame Read because the way I split it up is Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. There's no gender in tarot. And even by saying Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine doesn't mean that a specific gender. You can identify with either or during the read too because the energetic connection is so complex and so intertwined. It could flip too. It's done that before. So, and besides that, with the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine sides of it, we are to find balance within ourselves of both. Divine Masculine is giver, teacher, guide, protector. Divine Feminine, um, receptive, mother, nurturer, uh, caregiver. So, with all that being said, I hope I explained everything. Did I explain everything? Yeah. Okay. With all that being said, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages needed to come through for the collective sign of Leo for this, their twin flame breed. In Jesus' name, amen. There's no timestamps on this message whenever you're led to the message exactly when you needed to hear it. For the Divine Feminine side, I'm going to be using Mystical Moments Oracle and Tarot Deck. For the Divine Masculine, it's Path of the Sacred Masculine and the Dragon Tarot. Um, I'll start out with Divine Feminine and with Divine Masculine in the Extended. I continue with Divine Masculine, go to Divine Feminine, pull a few Oracle cards. So, with all that being said, I think I'm good. Okay. Alright. Last shuffle. Flip the cards. For the Divine Feminine. Under my umbrella. I think Aries got this card too. Number 20 card reduces down to two number of connection. This is very nurturing, loving, very divine feminine energy all right so we'll go with the path of the sacred masculine for the divine masculine side of it all right for the divine masculine from the path of the sacred masculine. Magnetic. Uh, I'm so glad I was led to these cards. The path of the sacred masculine. I, yeah. Do you see this? 
Look at the card. That describes Twin Flame Connection, period. This, like, reading's over. Reading's over. Right there. Magnet magnetically drawn to one another. So the Divine Masculine is magnetically being drawn to the Divine Feminine because of... Yeah, their, their divine femininity. Like, this is what... And the energetic connection between the two of them. What ends up happening, though, and I will say this. Here, I'll show for this one more time. Let's get the deck. Okay. Before I lay the cards down, I will say this. What ends up happening when one is in their divine feminine energy, okay? And just really embracing that energy and just healing and you know this um the divine feminine is mother to even um other people like it's the type of person that you call them up in the middle of the night i need you and they're on the phone with you like that's the divine feminine um but they really say hold a space you know and just nurture others and take care of them like that's the divine feminine now what ends up happening with the divine masculine being magnetically drawn to the divine feminine in any spiritual connection not even spiritual connection along our spiritual path we are to find the balance of the divine feminine and divine masculine within ourselves in this energetic connection between two individuals okay when the one side, like you've balanced the one side um, with the divine feminine, your extreme divine feminine, and you haven't really balanced the divine masculine, what ends up happening with this magnetic pull, the divine masculine is on the opposite of the spectrum but they're doing the same thing with the divine masculine when the connection comes or is magnetically drawn together that's when both sides are to flip and when I say to flip they're to find their balance on the opposite so the divine masculine will be um, during their really the dark nights of the soul where they're um, going through this ascension healing because that's what twin flame connection does energetic connection the spiritual energetic connection does is that it causes and provokes this healing between both parties but when this happens both sides are going to be asked to the divine feminine is going to be asked to embrace the divine masculine the doer the giver guide protector Divine Masculine is going to be asked to really be this nurturer, nurturing themselves, learning to nurture themselves, hold a space for themselves, and nurture the other side. Do you see what I mean? So they're going to be asked to balance both of the Divines within themselves. And I feel like this is what's going to be occurring here. So, with that being said, let's pull cards for the Divine Feminine side. Five of Wands. King of Cups. There it is. Hierophant. Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, Lover's Card, Five of Swords, and Seven of Cups. Okay, let's go to the masculine side of it.
Nine of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And Four of Cups. Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And Five of Wands. You see that? It starts out with Five of Wands, ends with Five of Wands. Okay, listen. Starts out with the same card that it ends up over here. Now, the reason I pause, I'll just kind of sit here and listen, because I'm wondering if it's, okay, when it comes to Twin Flame or whoever you're sharing an energetic connection with, you both still have separate stories. The stories, though, may run in line with one another. They may overlap. This, though... That's what I'm wondering, and it's happened to me before in these reads. If the Divine Masculine side of it, if all the cards leading up to the Five of Wands isn't what happened before, and then the place where Five of Wands picks up with Divine Feminine is what happens after. I'm just going to read it straight and then give the possibility of that actually happening. That way, whichever resonates with you wherever this is for, then... So, I usually start out the Divine Feminine side of it, so we'll go with Five of Wands. Five of Wands, there's that confrontation. Argument. Who were they arguing with? I knew who they were arguing with. This was an argument between them. <sighs> That's the reason. It's almost like an explanation is what this looks like. This is the beginning. It's almost like Divine Masculine is explaining where this argument started. And then Divine Feminine is picking up and explaining what's happened after. So let's start with Divine Feminine. Uh, Here's your argument. Five of Wands, confrontational. This is an explosive argument. Five is number of change. Now the argument itself and that confrontation, the reason that it's five is it changes the whole dynamic of the connection. It changes the relationship, changes something in there. That's the reason with Five of Swords, which my oldest son calls high school gossiping card. That's also the number of change. Because when you realize who the individuals are that are talking about you, that changes the dynamic with the connection with them as well. So, kind of change something here. The argument is with, because this is not the Divine Feminine's energy. King of Cups is not. That, I believe, is Divine Masculine's energy. That's who the argument was with. And the reason the argument happened was because Divine Masculine wasn't coming out with how they feel. King of Cups can either go light side to it, shadow side to it. And King of Cups always comes across to me as the Divine Masculine energy of this is how I feel, but I'm not going to show it. Like, I'm very reserved on how I present, how I feel. The shadow side to it is an individual, by masculine, that doesn't process how they feel. Very difficult in processing it. This is the energy of an individual that, if they're hurt, they lash out. <coughs> Could even be like mini, mini temper tantrum, that type of thing, you know. Um, 
be very snappy withdrawn like that's the shadow side to the king of cups here though i feel like the argument was because the divine masculine did not say how they felt and the divine feminine was like i'm done because the next card hierophant card Catalyst to change. This is also represents commitment. That's what was on the table, what was arguing about. Now, Seven of Swords showing up on the Divine Feminine side. Now, I'm going to give a little rundown of the Seven of Swords. Kind of give you a different viewpoint of this. Seven of Swords is a sneaky little thief card. But, it doesn't necessarily mean what's stolen from you. Now I'm starting to go and I am not tired. As soon as I start the Twin Flame Reads, second night in a row, like with Aries it was like this, now with Leo it's like this. Oh, anyway, with Seven of Swords, it's the, it's not necessarily someone stealing something physical from you. Stealing a job, stealing money from you, it's not even that. It can be stealing time, Wasting my time is still a theft of time. Stealing my heart, stealing my energy could be that. And I feel like that's where the Divine Feminine's point of view, what the argument was. You waste my time, you stole my attention, this is what you did, and this is what you're doing with it. That's the Divine Feminine. That's their viewpoint in this argument. They have a point. Because, like I said, and I'll start out each of these reads this way. Above and beyond union with Twin Flames, above and beyond everything that you hear, the one thing that you have to do, the one thing that each side has to do is to choose themselves. Choose themselves. And you choose yourself, you choose to love yourself. You actually invoke healing and ascension in the other. You do. And it keeps going, both sides. And you can actually energetically pull one another out of difficult situations. Like, even before meeting one another. Like, it's that type of energetic connection. Because you can choose... Choose yourself. Choose yourself. Choose to love yourself. Choose to honor yourself. Choose not to go into old patterns. Choose to change. And in inadvertently what you're doing is you send that energy into the connection and the other side goes through a healing and an ascension and pulls themselves out of whatever cycle they're in. Divine Feminine by calling Divine Masculine out with this. Did this. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is my pat on the back card. This was the best thing that Divine Feminine could have done. Because the very on it again. Are you serious? Ugh. Is it, has this been exhausting for both sides? That's the same thing with Aries. Exhaustion. Because I'm not tired. I swear I'm not. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, which is the good... This is job well done. Pat on the back. Divine Feminine did the right thing. And just said, if you're not serious about this, why are we doing this? Like, what is happening here? Nine of Pentacles, job well done. Lover's card. Lover's card is that divine partnership, but it's also about making a choice. Choice of love. Choice to choose love. Choice to choose to love oneself. It's about choices. By doing that, now they face this, Five of Swords energy, a lot of people talking. 
And this is outside judgment. Who cares? Like, this is... Yeah. Five of Swords, which is those... My, my oldest son calls this the high school gossiping card. And I think it's hilarious because he got it right on. This is the people from the outside looking in going, but why did you have right to complain? Why did you have a right to argue about this? Everything was going good. Everything appears to be good. I don't understand why you have a right to argue about it. Which is causing confusion in the Divine Feminine. Choosing themselves should never be one of those things where it's talked about. Like, choosing yourself shouldn't be to where other people have an opinion about it. In any energetic connection, in any connection you have whatsoever, you should choose to love yourself. It shouldn't be a question with that. So, like I said, I feel like this was after the argument. The my masculine side of it is before the argument. We'll get there. Let's get there. The my masculine, nine of swords. In their head, grieving. This is a grief card. To me, it's a grief card. Three of swords, heartbreak, disappointment. By the time you get to nine of swords, it's three times greater than that. And this is also sleepless nights, obsessively thinking, can't get out of your head, that type of thing. Then you go two of pentacles. Now, the reason this is happening of the sleepless nights obsessively thinking in their head, the Divine Masculine, is the Two of Pentacles card. Back and forth. Two of Pentacles being in two minds about something. Juggling. Back and forth. And I think it's that connection here. Now, this is the thing, okay? Like I said in the beginning of this, magnetically drawn to the Divine Feminine. Can't explain it, can't put it into words, just mag magnetically drawn to them. That's the reason they're in two minds about this. There may have been something to where... Um, about the Divine Feminine, where it's like, I don't know, could even be one of those things, not necessarily my type, not even my type, but is it a physical thing? Not a physical thing, emotional thing. It would force them to be serious. And maybe they weren't ready for that. That's the reason they were caught up in their head, even for this argument. Page of Swords. Uh, this is an attempt to communicate the fact that they weren't completely fulfilled. Like, they weren't content to where things were going. Four of Cups. So, the Page of Swords is them trying to communicate that and really not doing it success successfully. Now, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Three of Pentacles, here's the teamwork. But see, this is the thing. They weren't emotionally fulfilled, Divine Masculine, the way things were going, because the connection is not what fulfills you. The connection isn't what completes you. The connection comes. The union of the connection comes because you are complete within yourself. That's another like whole another rule to this. The union may happen, may trigger this healing, and it does trigger the healing within both parties and but not being content with this, like not being completely fulfilled with it, even though this was wish fulfillment, but not being able to express what was going on with them, not being able to say it, wasn't what the Divine Masculine wanted. So Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment, Three of Pentacles even working 
the Three of Pentacles teamwork. But they can also be talking about your spirit team, too. Three is number of divinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, God, Man, the Angels. This could even be the Divine Masculine praying. And just seeking guidance. Because, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. So, Divine Masculine, or Divine Feminine is seeing the Divine Masculine as King of Cups. Divine Masculine is seeing the Divine Feminine as Queen of Pentacles. Maybe that's what the deal was. Because it's interesting that the Queen of Pentacles is going to show up and the King of Cups is going to show up over here. Where the Divine Feminine wanted feelings out of the Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is held back possibly because of this. Because Divine Feminine doesn't need anyone financially stable on their own, has their shit together, doesn't need, like, outside assistance. Maybe that's what it is. I feel like that's what it is. That they're not needed. Which is just simply something that needs to be healed on both sides. That's the reason this argument happened. Because, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. <clears throat> Both sides need to feel needed. And it's something that really needs to be healed. And that should be healed. Because the Divine Masculine wants to be needed in the financial, in the, um, financial resources part of this. Divine Feminine wants to feel needed. The emotional side. So it's the same thing. It's just two different sides here. That's why argument happened. It's just something else that's been brought up. It needs to look at. It needs to be looked at. And it's just mirroring off of one another. Um, you can mirror off one another regret. And it'd be two different things that you're regretting. But it's still the same thing. This is just a need to be needed that needs to be healed. I'm trying not to mess up the cards. I'm very OCD about that. So I'm going to pull a couple um, chakra reading cards for both sides and then go into the extended here. Two off the top for the Divine Feminine, two off the bottom for the Divine Masculine. Okay, here we go. Divine Feminine. Personal power. 13 card reduces down to four number of stability. Inner child. Number 17. Which reduces down to eight with the number of new beginnings. Yeah. And that's... Uh, let's get into the <laughs> divine masculine soul healing 35 another 8 number and one more creativity number 10 closing out a cycle beginning of a new cycle so this is the thing the need to be needed is what's being brought up here. Now it's going to present itself and it's going to keep presenting itself until it's faced and healed for both sides. That's the only thing that happened with this argument is that it's something that's being mirrored and it needs to be dealt with. So for the collective sign of Leo, this is the first part to your twin flame read. If you're interested in the extended links down below, like I said, it leads you to the Patreon page. $5 a month, um, just one tier, $5 for the month, and it, you get access to all of the extendeds. So, collective sign of Leo, love and light.